FedEx Freight. He's got some goodies for us, I'll tell you what. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be working on our 2019 GMC Duramax. And right now we're actually gonna run to the dealership, pick up the rest of our parts that we ordered because we are gonna be running that stock bumper for now to pass inspection and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and head there and pick up our parts. All right guys, so we're here at the dealership. We already went ahead and picked up all of our parts, but we're just here to check out this uh, Chevrolet, the 2020. It's not a GMC, but they're basically the same thing, just a little bit different, different front looking end. in front end. But we did notice the, uh, the DEF tank is missing. So Where's we're looking at? for it. And I don't know where it's at, dude. They put it somewhere new. That's a good thing because on our truck, it's just like sitting out right here. That's why they don't even have to put the side steps here, honestly. Yeah, that's crazy, but it, I, I don't even see it at all. It's like not even under there. Like you can completely look underneath this truck. Get under there. Gone. I don't know where it's at, but look, they got the Rancho shocks from factory on these yeah, trucks. Yeah, this is like probably a special package one. But you know what? One thing that I really don't like is how they designed these mirrors. Oh, this sucker is wide open. Yeah, the mirrors are ugly. Let's look at them again. <laughs> look at those mirrors, dude. I don't like that design at all. Look at our mirrors. And look at these mirrors. Uh, you, I don't I know. Say, I'm not a big I fan say of that. No on that thing. But the interior, I mean, almost exactly the same. Interior's Everything's super nice sick. on it. How you doing? What's up? Super sick, sick truck. Interior. I mean, you got a nice step here. Yeah. I'll, oh, yeah. Huh? Upgrade, huh? No, <laughs> upgrade for us. The ones that don't like the mirror, check that out. Electronic yeah, sliding something mirror. a little bit different. Kind of makes up for it. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like out here. Looks pretty sick, actually. A little bit different. They changed up a few little things. A little bit more technology, but the front end looks sick. Interior is pretty, pretty legit. You know, you got upgraded. Check this out. Got extra storage and stuff like that. Pretty sick truck overall. Little roof spoiler. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty See cool that? actually. And the DF tank is actually. Uh, you found it? it you know what I'm saying? You fill it up right here instead of the engine bay. Uh, sure, it's like right by the fuel tank then. Oh yeah, See that's that? that's a smart move. That's I like that way lot. better than the engine bay. All right, so we are out of here. The price tag on that truck is seventy-one thousand dollars. And there ain't no sunroof. No sunroof. But it does look better without the DEF tank at the bottom. And it's actually right by the fuel tank. And you fill it up right by the fuel tank. Yeah. So that is, I gotta say, they definitely listened to the people with the 2019 to change that up. And it looks absolutely yeah. amazing. 2020 is probably gonna be the way to go. Other than the mirrors, they need to figure something out. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably grow on us after I guess a, few, so. a few months, years, but. If we, if we see a 2020 on the auction, we may have to get it, dude. Definitely a beautiful truck. Alrighty, guys, so we are back from the dealership. We had to order $600 more worth of parts. Our main concern was our condenser right here because, you know, it's super hot and we don't have AC, so we got that. We also got a fog light right here and a fog light bulb. We also had to order a parking sensor because one of ours was damaged on that front bumper. A tire pressure sensor right here, correct? Yes, sir. And then, I uh, forget what this is. That's an extra bulb. I don't know why somehow we ordered an extra bulb. We needed a bracket for this passenger side where the damage was and also these little seals right here for, I already the, forgot. The AC condenser, yeah. AC you do have condenser. to change them out. But other than that, dude, we got basically everything we need for inspection. We did pull out our old bumper because we're gonna have to reuse most of this stuff. And this piece in the middle was how much? 400 bucks. We didn't wanna do that. I think we may be able to salvage this. And uh, that's about the only thing we're actually gonna salvage for that front bumper. But we're probably gonna start with the AC condenser and get some nice cold air in there. So let's go ahead and start taking apart this front end. guys so we just took the whole entire front end back apart just to get this condenser off right here but as you can see this little uh darker area this is actually from the ac i guess the fluid in there the pack fluid whatever this thing takes 
So there's definitely a leak here because by the look of it, there's this little pin that comes out right here that got broken off. So once this probably broke off, this little plastic piece probably jammed right into it and cracked our condenser. But we got a brand new one right here. Ooh-wee. Hopefully it has like all the, oh yeah, it does. Dude, check that out. Nice. Sweet, it has all brand new corners. These are like little plastic things and it has brand new rubber. So that, that's what I was looking for. So we got it all. Now let's go ahead and slap this brand new condenser on. Hopefully get some AC in today. What do you think? Yeah, that's the plan. But also we got a big old package coming in right now for the truck. So oh yeah, I'm excited. We may have to pause here any second. A semi truck's about to pull up. Do I hear one right now? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you should hear one here shortly. And we got something awesome for this truck, man. Definitely, definitely. So. But let's go ahead and slap this boy on real quick. Yeah, let's do it. Let's continue working until we get our surprise package, I guess. FedEx Freight, he's got some goodies for us, I'll tell you what. Alrighty guys, we're getting unloaded here. We got tons of little boxes, big boxes, all sorts of boxes. Got the dogs in the back over there barking. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off and we're gonna probably unload everything and then we'll show you what we got. Alrighty guys, so I just brought in the first load on this little wheel dolly and there's a bunch more, so let's go ahead and get this sucker out there. And we're gonna go ahead and take it and we'll show you exactly what it is. Woo wee! Go ahead and take this to the garage, man. All right, so it just started raining on us. We had to put the packages inside, but let's go ahead and reassemble this front end and then we're gonna show you guys what we got. So we got this front end back together. It's looking absolutely amazing. And hopefully that AC condenser is good because now we're gonna run to VTune shop and get him to pump some AC in here because it is about 100 degrees outside, super hot. And uh, once we get that done, we're actually gonna run back to the house and start prepping this thing for some paint. Alrighty guys, so we are here at VTune shop and uh, he's gonna take care of us right now. What do we need to do? Put some AC in it. First, we're gonna go ahead and pull a vacuum on the AC system. system. Yes, sir. So he's got the device. This is the vacuum right here. Yeah, well, give him the reason why you have to pull a vacuum. Why do you have to pull a vacuum? Yeah, why you get all the excess air out of there that's stuck in the system, and it just helps the Freon go in better. Right, that way there's like no And idea. you check if it's uh, leaking. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah so you did put everything on there brand new, and it basically checks if there's any leaks or anything like that. Make Otherwise, sure it's gonna hold that pressure. So he's gonna pull a vacuum, and then we're gonna check the gauges. Hopefully all is well. We could just fill it up and we could be nice and cool. guys so it's finally snowing inside the cabin of this truck it's nice and cold man we appreciate it um, bro. and uh Let's we're gonna, go be, we're to gonna be feeling good in there man it's definitely. been so hot these past couple of days so we definitely appreciate it and uh, we'll catch you next time Alrighty, guys so we finally got some nice cold air in this thing feels absolutely amazing dude perfect dude it's perfect now this is definitely gonna be our daily <laughs> i know right dude we were cruising around with no ac no kind of sucked sweating but now, dude, it feels amazing in here. Now what's left is to get this thing painted and looking brand new like it should. Pretty much. So we're going to head back to the house, and we're going to show you guys. I don't know if we're going to unpackage the, the packages that we got, but we'll tell you what it is. And uh, we'll, we'll move on to the next thing, the most important thing, which is going to be the paint works and a little bit of body work. All right, so we are back, and the AC works absolutely amazing. But our next main focus is going to be trying to get this thing paint prepped 
because as you know, you're not allowed to paint until we pass inspection, which is hopefully gonna be tomorrow in the morning. And what we're gonna do right now is probably just sand like these main areas, the fender, the door, because we are gonna blend onto the door to make it look absolutely 100% on the paint matchup. As for the hood, we were thinking about uh, blending onto the hood, but it's such a small area right here. If the paint is a little bit off, you probably won't even be able to notice it. And as for the front bumper, we're probably not gonna focus on that too much because for inspection, he is gonna need to see that the lights are in there and stuff like that. So with that being said, you're probably wondering about our lift. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is our lift kit. I don't wanna open it up right now because we're gonna save that for a complete video. And we also got some wheels and tires on the way. This is gonna be absolutely a game changer. It's gonna transform the look of this truck. But let's go ahead and start focusing on the paint prep. Probably start taking apart that door, uh, just like the little trim pieces right there, not the mirror and stuff like that that's needed for inspection. So let's go ahead and start with that and get this thing paint prepped. guys so we just removed that piece of trim along with that badge right there and we just got a call from the inspector he said he's gonna be here tomorrow afternoon which kind of sucks because we were hoping to show you guys in this video but it'll have to wait because we're gonna post a video a lot sooner than that but good news is we can go ahead and disassemble this whole entire door the mirror the trim and the handle and go ahead and wet sand the whole entire thing because we are gonna blend onto it and then clear coat the whole entire door so let's go ahead and take it completely apart so we can then wet sand it So we got that door completely stripped down. It was super easy and we went ahead and taped the window up so we don't scratch it while we're sanding. Now let's go ahead and grab our 600, grab our bucket of water and start sanding. Right, so we just finished sanding the fender in the door sanding down pretty easily it's looking really good we will have to do some touch-ups on it before we throw everything back on but it is late so we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning all right guys so it is the next day what we're gonna do is actually finish sanding all the edges that are shiny right here on the door and on the fender and then once that is done we're actually gonna throw the door back together and we did notice a little dinger right here on top of the fender probably happened whenever we were just adjusting everything not a big deal should be some simple fix just with some glazing putty and a little bit of primer but after we get all that done what we're gonna do is actually run to our local paint stores and grab a few samples of paint so we can spray them on some test sheets so we can match this paint up as best as possible so let's not waste any time and get straight to work Alrighty guys, so we finally got all the touch-ups taken care of. Now we're going to go ahead and probably head to the store right now. But before we do so, you do want to take this tape off right here because if it dries, you're going to be uh, stuck with a bunch of sticky, sticky stuff right there, right? Yeah, especially whenever, only if it gets wet. It doesn't matter if you leave it on there if it's dry, but if you put it on and then wet sand and it gets wet. And then it dries up then again. it dries up, it ain't coming off. It's just going to be like a but All the gluey resin is just going to stick to it, so... Just, just a little tip for you guys. So right now, we're actually gonna run to the store and grab a few samples of paint. Oh, and before we go, we actually wanna find this paint code uh, on GM vehicles. They're sometimes just hidden in random places. Like there's a little 
a little sticker right there with a bunch of information, but there's no paint code. I don't see it. We're gonna have to Google that or something. But I know when we were trimming out this fender, we couldn't find it. Uh, what we did was just get a very close silver variance to that. And we just, uh, because you're not gonna see the inner j the jam. I mean, it looks uh, original on the inside, but once you start throwing clear coat and stuff like that, it won't 100% match. But let's see if we can find this sucker. Yeah. Maybe it's on the hood or something like that. We definitely that. need to find it. Maybe Google the this year or this VIN number and stuff like that, but we'll let you guys know where it's at. Uh, they're calling that color switchblade, silver metallic. Code is gonna be whiskey alpha 636 Romeo. Alright, we appreciate it. Alright guys, y'all have a good day. You too. Usually it says code and it will say the paint code, but that was just some tiny little letters. I guess they scanned this. This is a scanner for the paint code. You know, yeah. like they use at the dealership or something like that. But it is WA636R, so let's go ahead, write that down so we don't forget and go get some paint. All right, guys, so our first stop is CarQuest. So let's run in there and grab some paint. So $136 later, we got uh, three different tests. We got some Standox, some Chromo Base, and some good old Nason right there. So yeah. we're going to put these things to the test. We got some test sheets right here. And these are already reduced except for the Nason. Dang, sucker's zooming. Look at him go. We got, <laughs> we got parts on the way. So we got pretty much everything that we need. So let's head back to the house. All right guys, so we are back. We got our three different types of paints right here. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the standoffs because it is ready to spray. So let's go ahead, throw it in our cup and see how it sprays on that test panel. So that was the standox right there. We're about to go mix up the Chromax. Yep, let's do it. That standox looks really good already, you know, right off the bat. Yeah. Looks like the original color, but can't say nothing until you put the other two down. So let's go ahead and do that. So there goes the Chromax. Now it is time for some Nason, right? Let's do it, man. My hand's getting silver and silver each <laughs> time. All right, guys, so we got three different panels with three different types of base coat on it. Now let's throw some clear coat and see which one matches the best. The samples are pretty dry right now. We had them in the sun. Now let's go ahead and put them up to the truck and see which one matches the best. I mean, they all look really close right now, but with different types of paint, the way you put them up, they just vary really, really a yeah, lot. Yeah, some of so. them have a little bit more metallic than others, so. Yeah, like this one right here, right off the bat, looks like it's more deeper than this one, you see? Yeah, that's the Nason, you can tell. Yep. We got Nason, them this is the Standox, and this is the Chromax. So let's go, go ahead. ahead. Should we do it to the hood? Yeah, might as well do it to the hood. Ooh, that 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 standox looks, looks really, looks really close. good. The nason is off. It doesn't have enough. Uh, yeah, the nason's way too light. It's almost like flat. You know what yeah, I mean? It's a little bit too light as well. Can the camera pick that up? Yeah, let me try it up top. Now the Chromax. The Chromax looks really good. I think that thing might actually be the best. You see the difference between the nason and the Chromax? Yeah, the nason is way off. I don't like yeah, the nason. Yeah, the nason, we're gonna go ahead and put that put one that aside. aside. Now it's between the, the standoffs without the sun. Yeah, the standoffs. Right here, to the door. The standoffs stand and, and the Chromax. Chromax. I don't know, I think this, the Chromax got the win, dude. Do you see that? That's like yeah. almost perfect. The the standoffs has too much uh, like depth. depth to it, like too much metallic -y, I think. So, but the Chromax is just right, dude. dude so that's perfect, dude. Look at that. Go all the way around. Yeah. 
so with that being said that is going to be a wrap for today's video stay tuned for the next one because we're going to get this thing painted and maybe even do the lift kit we got a bunch of awesome things on the way for this thing so be sure to stay tuned also guys be sure to follow us on instagram where you can get an inside scoop there before youtube and if you want to support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments down below and we'll catch you next time peace